Hello everybody, welcome back to the latest edition of the Nanny Cook Newsroom on today, May 19th. Uh, it's a pretty sobering edition of the Nanny Cook Newsroom because today was one of those days where <clears throat> I really had to be on my A game. Like you always think I always have to be on my A game, right? But and this is one of the days I had every word had to be perfect, every um every outreach I did today had to be sensitive because we're talking about a very sensitive topic. Um, you guys might have seen um, over the weekend or, or just early Monday morning uh, a, a teenager um, from Wyoming, Pennsylvania from the Wyoming Area School District, a 19, or 2019 graduate of the Wyoming Area School District uh, died in a car crash and then two other juveniles in the car were um, injured. And um, for some reason over the years um, I've thrived at um, writing about tragedy. Uh, this is just something I'm, I'm good at. I don't know why. Um, it's not that I, I thrive on it and like it. It's just something that I'm able to do that a lot of people avoid in this industry. Um, I think it's because I have a general compassion um, when tragedy strikes, um, whether it's um, a soldier who died at war, murder victims, people who died in car crashes. I'm also naturally curious on what that person was like and what they're all about because in all likelihood the story you're going to write about them is the last time they'll ever be mentioned maybe in a newspaper or in media and uh, I kind of feel like it's an honor and privilege to tell the world who was lost and a little bit about them so like I said there was a teenager 19 year old Jacob Bush from Wyoming a 2019 graduate of Wyoming area a football player current a student at Bloomsburg University um, who is identified as the one who was killed on early Monday morning in Dallas Township. Uh, the car was headed towards Harvey's Lake. Um, I happen to know uh, Jacob's grandfather, uh, Jody, Jody Bush, um, and dealt with him several times over the last couple of years. Um, so I asked him if, you know, the mother um, of Jacob would be willing to talk to me today. And, um, Sure enough, uh, Jacob's mother, Amy, gave me a call uh, later in the day, and we talked about her son. She told me uh, Jake wanted to be a state trooper one day. He went to Camp Cadet a couple years ago, and that was his dream, to always become a state trooper. He was studying criminal justice at Bloomsburg University. Um, and she just told me how amazing the Wyoming area community, they call it the Warrior Nation, uh, rallies around uh, rallied around their family in the last uh, 24 hours or so, or a little bit longer. And it's just something that here in Nanico, we, we would do the same. We have done the same in the past over my entire lifetime. And um, honestly, it's way bigger than Nanico and way bigger than Wyoming area. When something like this strikes, we're a pretty close-knit community as Northeastern Pennsylvania residents. And I think the whole community is rallying around the Bush family right now. The Callahan family, that's uh, the mother's name, Amy Callahan. Um, and she just, she couldn't believe the outpouring of support she's been getting all across Northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, she said he was a wonderful son. He was beautiful on inside and out. He was beloved by this community. The outreach has been amazing. Warrior Nation is really coming out for my son. So, um, God bless uh, Jake Bush, um, his friends and family. Um, because all of us, almost all of us, has experienced something like this in our lives. I remember when I was in high school, um, I remember my childhood idol, Joe Masita, died in a car crash um, around the same age. I think he was 19 at the time as well, while I was in high school. Really devastated me. Um, a lot of my friends were really good friends with Justin Bahala back in the day. Um, I was pretty close to them, maybe not as close as they were, and that really um, galvanized the community to you know, rally around one each other. The thing with them, they got to mourn together um, in both instances. Right now with coronavirus going on, um, mom told me that, you know, they're going to have the little tiny, little private funeral, and hopefully once uh, this all quarantine's over, uh, they could hold a proper memorial service to say farewell, uh, farewell to Jake and give him the proper um, funeral that he deserves. So in my story tomorrow, I talk not only to Jake's mom, but Dominic DeLuca, the quarterback of this year's uh, state championship team. Uh, Dom said that even though Jake graduated last year, he always was there to help celebrate his former teammates and cheer them on and their uh, run at the state championship, which they won this year. 
I also talked to his former coach, Randy Spencer. So, um, as we always say when we close this show, stay safe out there. It's not just a joke, and it's not just for coronavirus. Um, you know, when you're, maybe it's uh, another lesson. I, I'm not sure who what happened in this crash, but it's always a lesson to just be safe while you're driving. Uh, try to not drive too fast uh, for conditions, or, uh, you know, just be safe out there. So, um, what a awful story to have to cover, but um, I put my heart and soul into it. I'm not a phony, and I hope the family is appreciative that um, we gave Jake a nice send-off in the Citizen's Voice. Um, God bless. Okay, the Jack the Cat. Again, people, I did not bait him on stage, and he's sitting there. Some people think, what is Jack thinking about there? Is he trying to stage a coup one day to kill me on, on, on air and take over the show himself? Some people think he's doing that. I think he just enjoys the show. I think he's like, wow, this co-hosting thing's pretty easy. I don't have to do anything except lay here and look good. Anyways, right, Jack? Yeah. So anyways, this, this is just me uh, uh, brushing the fur balls off Jack with the little uh, rubber brush here. Um, he seems to enjoy it. Yeah, that feels good. Look at that. Look at that fur ball. Look, see, Jack's a good boy. Let's me, let's me. Calm. Let's me calm. He likes that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that mustache. Okay, the uh, as Jack is sleeping on set, the old photo of the day is a photo of me and Aunt March sampling my homemade wine. This was March in 2014. Wine kit bought by my sister, Michelle Kalinowski. This was the first batch. Aunt March got the first sips. I haven't made wine in a while, but I need to get back at it. Um, I actually don't totally make it from scratch. I don't crush my own grapes, but they give you a whole boatload of grape juice in a big bucket. A lot of places that are surplus juice, and you just put the yeast in and let the magic work. Oh, you having fun back there, huh? So, the last smile and cry feature of the day is a smile to all of my real estate friends who earlier today heard Governor Wolf is vetoing legislation to let them get back into work, back in action. Uh, but Governor Wolf had something else up his sleeve. He vetoed legislation, then he rolled back restrictions and allowed them to get back to work with um, some, you know, social distancing rules. So real estate friends, which is not only real estate agents, but it's appraisers and uh, uh, home um, inspectors, everyone down the list uh, involved in the real estate transactions is back in business. Uh, today, so that is good news, and it made me smile. And the Cliff Lewis random act of kindness is a couple days late, but I saw this was in a citizen's voice this weekend. I believe the Amvets teamed up with the Hanover area football team to put 8,000 really 8,000 that's supposed to be 800 8,000 flags on the graves in St. Mary Cemetery in Hanover Township for Memorial Day. Uh, I heard the Boy Scouts can't do it this year. They're not letting the Boy Scouts do it. So the Amvets and the Hanover Township or Hanover Area football team came through in a clutch for that big cemetery along Middle Road, putting brand new flags in for Memorial Day. So everybody, thanks for listening today. No bashing Glen Lyon Pond Hill or West Nanny Coop today because today was a serious show. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll do it again tomorrow, I think, right? So Jack, get up, cause we got a we have a special person to come on here and close out the show. And this ain't just a slogan, like I said, we gotta live by this. Here we go, Anna. Stay safe out there.